Yeah. Woo Special occasion. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Uh, congratulations, Yay. Allie, on graduating. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I will be walking in real life in like two weeks. Oh, interesting. Uh, so this is our, our own, this is our own little private commencement here on Palago. Uh, we're very proud of all the hard work she's put in. And uh, even in the middle of uh, an epidemic when uh, stress levels were high, to say the least. So congratulations, Allie. Yay, it's all around. Yay! Yay! It feels good. It doesn't feel real yet. It feels good. Uh, all right. So we set up this own our own little graduation uh uh commencement place here ali put this all together herself it is beautiful uh helena provided the robes so we all look <laughs> fantastic uh yes it's very good yeah we do uh this is the animal crossing improv show thanks everyone i'm michael i'm this little guy in the blue here uh if you have a suggestion for anything uh we're gonna do improv and we'd love to hear it. any word uh from the chat we would love to hear uh i'm michael i'm in the glasses here we have a fantastic group of people performing for you today uh they'll all come up and introduce themselves give us a little bit about what who they are where they are what they do and maybe a place to find them uh, you can also give a word of advice to the class of 2012 oh, yeah <laughs> 20, that's what i mean <laughs> where nice. yeah wear sunscreen uh all right <laughs> i will open it up Come on, oh, words of advice. Do I have words of advice? Um, you know, I generally think food doesn't go bad as quickly as people think it does. Uh, those expiration dates, those are suggestions. Uh, use common sense, people. Don't 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 waste food. Anyway, all right, next. Yay! Oh, hi, uh, I'm Vincent. One thing I want to say: this looks like an intervention. Is are <laughs> you trying to put me in a spot to tell me <laughs> that I've gone? It looks like an anonymous meeting with this little podium over here, but uh, I can say that I'm addicted to video games, but I think I'm nearing the end, like near the pandemic. <laughs> but there is Pokemon Snap that might bring me in, like I finally won't stop video games for a while, and then Pokemon Snap comes in. I've been watching YouTube videos and like, no, buy the game on this <laughs> December. Did you, did you get it yet? Did so, you get Pokemon Snap? Not yet. Not yet. But like, I'm 50% convinced. Like, don't, like, you need to have a productive life, like a month. Nah, where you're nah we have it. <laughs> just just go in there. It's real chill. You lay back, you take some pictures of some Baidus, and, uh, you know, just have a good time. Okay. So, my advice quickly is peer pressure is good for you. So, <laughs> Whatever your friends say, follow it. Sometimes it's not peer pressure, it's just your turn. <laughs> yeah. Okay, my Tom. Hi, everyone. Hi. I'm Helena from Seoul, South Korea. And I'm here to celebrate Ali's graduation. And also, I invited a new friend today, so I'm very excited. And my advice is, you are good enough. Just be yourself. That's it. Yay. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, I love that. I'll go up. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Marina, or Dragon Mama, whatever. I'm Helena's friend. And I will say um, some good advice is uh, don't hold back and do all of the things and eat more carbs. I like that. Thank you. I love it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm Allison. I'm I'm am the one that's graduating. Woohoo! Woo uh, I <laughs> Might be back on Thursday with Play Cousins at the same time. So come and watch me and Jarrett hang out. He's not in today, but he'll be in then. 
And my advice is, it's not you, it's capitalism. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oof, we've, we've had a lot of pearls, but that one. If you, uh... if you feel bad about your body or that you can't do enough or that no one likes you or that life is a pointless slog until death, that's capitalism. So you don't need to worry about it. Mm. Bye. Bye. <laughs> That was fantastic. Hi, I'm uh, Cayman. My life advice would be electricity is a greater enemy than you think. <laughs> elaborate, elaborate. I, I, I feel like most people just truly don't understand or realize how like the body is an electrical circuit that can just like be destroyed by seemingly benign electricity or common everyday objects that we are now <laughs> so like immersed no, like in. like static electricity right like you Seriously don't you're... To stop blow drying my hair in the bathtub yeah well don't you have to keep your luxuries right <laughs> no, but like it's called self-care <laughs> were you ever did you ever ruin a relationship because of static electricity you accidentally like shook a person's hand and you had static electricity and actually jolted them <laughs> a I bit. That, but I, I wish I had the ability to have enough static electricity to, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess harm a person wouldn't be the <laughs> word I want to use, but to tell me, at least make them notice it. Okay. I, would, I would like to recommend a book that's something like what Cayman's talking about. And the book is called The Power. And it's the idea that women uh, in puberty develop the ability to use electricity kind of <laughs> however they want. And then they're the stronger sex and not men. And so then we see what happens to society when women uh, basically can't be harmed by men and can actually harm men. And it turns the whole thing on its head. It's very interesting. And I feel like Cayman would like it because he likes electricity and he likes women, I think. So <laughs> there you go. Wait, wait. But don't women have the power of sarcasm after? You know after what? The sarcasm has never stopped a rape. I wish it would. <laughs> <laughs> it, it works after, touché. but not touché. during. Touché, touché, touché. Uh, <laughs> I got struck by lightning one time, guys. What? This is a thing? How have I never heard this before? Well, so I was gaslighted a lot in my childhood, and it's caused me to kind of question whether I really know anything, and then I feel embarrassed about saying things that I do think I know. Okay. But when I was in elementary school, there was, like, this really bad storm, and our elementary school was kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. It was basically, like, kind of a parking lot with, like, a fence, like a graded fence. So I was going between classes, and I was holding onto the fence, and I think the fence got hit by lightning and I was like by myself. And so then, but I was kind of fine. So I just like got up and went to the bathroom. Oh. <laughs> that is bonkers. So you were like Doc Brown at the end of Back to the Future. If you'd been touching a DeLorean, it would have traveled in time. You can, you can do it. It's weird how many people it's fine. And I don't really know why. Well, uh, it's get in here. It's always weird because they're the people who like survive but get permanently damaged because you know struck by lightning. Right. But there's like cases of old man Joe who every time mm -hmm. he leaves on, on a rainy weekend it gets struck by lightning and survives and it's like 87. And you have like those people as well. But I guess like one of the most important things about electricity or at least like lethal amounts of electricity is like to have your feet on the ground or i guess okay, to be grounded oh yes to be grounded yeah well it, it's um if you don't you're more of like a closed circuit where the electricity doesn't leave your body but wait uh, Kim, can i ask you a question about yeah, that yeah. i thought that the reason birds on the power lines don't get electrocuted is because they're not grounded so it doesn't go through them uh, I, I mean, being on the ground or not by itself wouldn't have a, a difference for electricity, but it, it it's just like, 
giving a place for electricity to leave. I, I don't know. It's like if you ever see videos of people being uh, electrocuted by like huge towers or stuff, it, you will see like their feet explode because the electricity you, you like their feet explode exits through there as a force. The electricity their feet exits okay. through oh, there. Sorry. That sounds terrible. Right. <laughs> not, uh, electricity, I wanted not, to get a new game. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that was my fault. What? Uh, there was an echo here. Oh, but okay. I don't know if anyone else could hear it. That was me. The stream heard it. No one else did. All right. Okay. Sorry, oh, came in. Okay. It's not a fart. <laughs> So, it's not a fart, it's an echo. Okay. So we did get a suggestion that was cafeteria. Thank you. Yay. Yay. Awesome. May I take your order next, please? Next. Oh, no one. Um, ooh, ooh, this looks good today. Uh, oh, hi, hi. Hi. Jan. Hi, Jan. Uh, how's hey, it going? Peter. Wait, is, it, is it Jan or Jan? I always forget. Oh, no. If you say Jan, I will very hurt. Okay. Please Jan? say Jan. Jan. Yes, please. Okay. okay. Yes. You. Uh, oof. We got mystery meat, cream corn, uh... Yeah, I mean, I love that. I love my corn and the consistency that is just yeah. like pure slop. And also, I I strongly recommend the durian flavored mm. tea. This is my favorite. You should try. All here. right, cream corn and yeah. durian flavored tea. That sounds fantastic. All right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw some moving squirrel. Uh -huh. Squirrel. Can I have That's, some? Squirrel? Yeah. Yeah, actually, James, that squirrel is uh, my new assistant. So oh. I hired that squirrel for my cafeteria, and he is a super fantastic assistant here. Mm, I, can't eat your, I can't eat your squirrel. I can't eat the squirrel. I thought he was part of the menu. What? what? James, I'm really shocked. What did you say? You yeah. are a monster. Did, did you want to eat that squirrel? Holy that, crap. That that tail just looks so delicious. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, no. honestly, Jan, uh, squirrel is pretty fantastic. I mean, just just smell that durian tea. Mm, yeah. Durian, the smell. Just imagine it with. with yeah, roadkill, roadkill, and durian. Mm. Like just like my mom, my mom, mother made it. Just like my mom made it. Oh, thank you. That's the most complimentary I have ever heard. Guys, I'm I'm so sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, have you guys seen Freddy? He just got away from me outside, and I can't find him anywhere. Oh, who is Freddy? Is it human or a squirrel or? Oh, I'm sorry. What? Yeah, Freddy's a squirrel. I just thought he was so well known that everyone knew him. But, oh, uh... I'm so sorry. I didn't think uh, he has owners, so I hired him in this cafeteria. Okay, but he has his own Instagram. I mean, his followers are not really gonna stand for this, right? Oh. Oh. Uh, everybody except Allison. Oh yeah. Listen, we got a problem. No Freddy the Squirrel means no money. It means we're in a lot of trouble here. I, I don't know what to do. I can't pay it back, okay? I can't give back all the endorsements. I'm, I'm full of Aquafina. There's nothing I can do with all these cases. <laughs> Listen, we had Nike on Freddy. We had Adidas. We had all the major sports corporations. Just... J just find a squirrel that passes as Freddy, okay? Okay, there's, there's one... Hold on. I got this. I think I got this. Just, I think I got this, actually. I think I really got this. I think uh, it's a perfect solution. No blood this time. No, it's not going to be that. It's just, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry about last time. That was a lot of blood, and you are correct. 
I just, uh, ooh. it was a lot of blood and it wasn't human or squirrels and you still never explained what it was. Oh, good point. Anyway. Well, I, I don't know. I, what I'm trying to do isn't working. And I, I just feel like, I don't know. I, I don't know. Are they going to, are they going to break my knees? Oh yeah, I'm, I mean, to start with, yeah. You, you think they end up breaking the knees? That's just so you can't run away from the rest. I, but, but I need my knees. What? It, what and, I don't... I, and, and we need squirrels to represent Nike, Adidas, and other major sports corporations. It's a, uh, it's a squirrel eat squirrel world, you know. I just, I'm so sorry. I, I could, I could wear the clothes, you know. I'm pretty. I'm. I'm pretty. Listen, you're not a squirrel. They're not going to believe that. And, Tag, and, uh, Tag Kamen. Uh, hi, I'm here for the squirrel auditions. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. I am too. <laughs> oh, perfect. Uh, I, I guess, I guess we're competitors. Uh, that's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just. Ooh, you're tiny. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm just, you know, I, 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 I guess method is the way they call it. So when I got the sides, I've just been eating, you know, uh, acorns. Only, only 20% though. 80% of them I lose because I forget right. where I buried them. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm just trying to like get into the mind, you know? I just go like, you know, and then I go, oh shit, who's that? Oh no. We're, oh no, oh. we're done. We are done. Is you that know, Stefan? That's Stefan. That's Stefan yeah, the squirrel. Mm. My agent told me I shouldn't go out for squirrel roles that I, I would get canceled on Twitter. I, but I, I just need the work. Honestly, Stefan's fans are like crazier than K-pop fans. If you <sighs> are even seen with Stefan, they will attack you. Did you guys say Stefan? I heard Stefan. I'm so sorry. We here? Have to do with Stefan, please don't hurt us. Please don't yeah, hurt us. We, we no, don't. I'm sorry, but I heard Stefan, so I'm gonna sit in until I see him. Well, <laughs> we're pretty cute. Yeah, we, I I could be a squirrel, you know. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could be a squirrel, but could you be Stefan? He's no. like, he's like my my dream. I know. I meant that like an older sister type, but I'll never be a lead heartthrob type. No, I, I'm, I'm at best I could be, you know, the nerd at the Breakfast Club squirrel, but yeah, <sighs> I could maybe be the the really young one that's also a rapper type, but I could never ever be the heartthrob type. Wait, what if I were? were... Excuse oh. me. Okay, yeah. uh, we're starting the additions for Alvin and the Chipmunks. Right now, I'm out. Oh, no. I'm, I was I was trying to be a oh. squirrel. Bye. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Okay. Just gonna we're, wait. We were gonna do squirrels, but we can. You know what? We need the work. We'll work with this, right? This is the way. Okay. Like, I'm gonna be on Fallon later, and he's gonna be like, "Do I okay. the audition?" So, and this will be a funny. The only, only thing you need to do for Alvin and Chipmunks is try to sing the Chipmunk song. Okay. All right. Um. Uh. Um, want a train that loops the loop. Me, I want a loop. How's that? Um, I think that's great. I think you, you just need to show your teeth a bit more. Just like, I think you need to break two, the other two of your teeth. You just need a top two. Is that is that okay if you can like pull out the other? Actually, oh all your teeth. Check out Vincent. Listen, baby, you've been typecast. You did too good as Alvin. I know my career. I I was hoping to, you know, you you go to the Royal Shakespeare Academy and you you come out, do a couple commercials, and suddenly all you can get is nut work. I wanted to get you Otello, baby, but look at you. You're just the perfect chipmunk. <sighs> Who would have guessed? You know, they. I. I want to be. You know, I want to stay positive vibes. You know, appreciate That's the career right. that I have. Not everyone has this. So L listen, listen. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Morty, go, go, Morty. I was able to pull some strings, mm -hmm. and l listen. I gotta hear this yeah. in the right mindset. Yeah, go. You're not out of the water, but it, it is a bit closer. Ha have you, have you heard of Squirrel Hamlet? Squirrel Hamlet. Squirrel Hamlet. So it's like I'm doing what I'm doing, but also 
what I was. It's a squirrel, to. not a chipmunk. Man, I'm glad I really was uh, put my amethyst out at the full moon. I'm really manifesting this. Ooh, do you think I could get Hamlet, or should I go for something? Should I go for Horatio? I mean, he's he's the real Hamlet. H- Hamlet. Hamlet. No, squirrel. Hamlet. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Hmm. Mm, I'm gonna go for it. Hey, I'm gonna demonstrate to the Hamlet scorer. Just to look at me and okay. just to follow me. Okay. Friends, lumens, countrymen, lend me your ears. Oh, this is good. I this come is here, not to praise the citizens, is, is but this to praise a truly quality, kind scorer here. You got it? I, I, you got I don't it. Know, is this, does this look it. like an ear? I don't know. Oh. oh, I love it. I love it. That, that doesn't count. What about this? Is this an ear? Uh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> that counts. That oh. it counts. I, I will accept that. Well, you can borrow it anytime because we're homies. Oh, thanks. That's so sweet. All right. So you got it now? Absolutely. Yeah, listen, you were born for this role. I just gotta say. Okay. Uh here we go. I'll do my best. Uh to be or not to be. This is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to bury walnuts in the backyard uh in order to save uh healthy stock to survive a challenging winter. A- absolutely Br- i just forgot I who Jude Law was Ooh. Ooh. uh uh hey oh, where's my dad i'm mad at him that isn't that right am i paraphrasing oh you're doing perfect that's no, good I'm like, okay. that's good yeah um, dad uh-huh. you ugh, you weren't nice to me I never felt like I could just like talk to you about how I felt about anything. Like I always felt like we just had to like always sort of be performing for each other. And then I like, now I don't even know how to name my feelings. So when I'm with women and they say, what are you thinking? Mm-hmm. I'm like, I draw mm-hmm. a blank mm-hmm. because I don't even know. Oh my God. And then I'm guy. like, just this... full of anger. It's very confusing. Oh, the squirrel Hamlet has it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, this okay. is, this is, this is the, this is the actor. This is the actor. Really? I see the I see Hamlet, Squirrel Hamlet in you. The oh, angst. Yes. Okay, you told me you were just going to run to the store real quick and get a bunch of nuts to stow away for the winter and then you never came back. Morty, take notes. I'm not Squirrel Hamlet. I'm taking notes. I'm the ghost father at best. Maybe, maybe the maybe the step uncle. Uh, we'll see if we, oh, can, we can see if we can spin it to be Squirrel Father. This hey, this hey, this is performance. Every time you spanked me, I can never think of why. I can only think of you being hurt by you and not trusting you. Yes, did. I didn't learn a single lesson. Find that, that pain. Trust you. Oh, yes. Now, is that trauma potent enough for you to kill your entire family for? Oh, for sure, for sure. I mean, oh, for sure. I could kill another person's whole family. Are you kidding? I'm going to be a family annihilator. You know about that? I don't know about that. No, but I need to know more. Okay, so like, you know how there's serial killers, so they kill yeah, uh-huh, uh, uh-huh. intermittently over a period of time. Yeah. Then there's free killers, they kill a lot all at once. A family annihilator kills a lot all at once, but it's their whole family because they feel like if they kill mm. themselves, the family will be so sad. So they're like, I'm just going to take them all with me. Now this is, this is the research. This is the work. I'm not even, wow, wow, Morty. Let's be clear, it's the coolest name of all the mass killing names. Tag right. Allison and Michael. Tag Allison and Michael. <laughs> oh my God! Did you watch the show on Netflix, True Crime Drama? It's called It's Nuts. It's just about like the school. I don't know who's the killer. Like they killed his this like family of squirrel squirrels that killed their whole family. Who's- Listen, you you came to the right person. I'm the number one agent when it comes to squirrel related comedy or just regular <laughs> shows too. Amazing. It's like, how how can I get in that sweet true crime deal? Do, like, how do I top that? Do I need to kill more families? Two families? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did, it, did you just say more? Did, did you mean more than you have 
already or more than more than the person in the show? More than I have already. Like I have a lot of step brothers. You know, being in a squirrel family, it's it's kind of incestuous. So we have a lot of we have a lot of different like step, yeah. Step brothers, step sisters. So will that the 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 thing about true crime is most criminals are just copycats. That's not true crime. That's that's oh. fake crime. That's imitation crime. That's you know, nobody nobody wants to see that crime. To do true, true crime, you have to dig within yourself. So and that's I, hard I, to do. I, I miss I miss the boat. <laughs> I miss the boat. I should try to find something. Yeah, some kind of anger. Yeah, yeah, like Hello, some... Vince. Agent Mori, you told all the secret of our agent lures to the no more person. You broken the lure. Yeah, you know, I I broke it for what I thought was gonna be a talent of a lifetime. I, I saw the next the, the next big nut. What? I what? thought he was it. Oh I didn't think about it. Maybe you're right. I was long. Yeah, you know, I'm just trying to go off the the agent prophecies, but I've never been too close with the oracle. Ooh, I'm not sure I got it Tagged right up. or. Yeah, I'm an oracle, but I I like to be kind of aloof. <laughs> you know, I don't. My clients aren't my friends. Okay, so. Yeah. Okay. So I, I've been what wondering I'm about. What I'm saying is, they can't accept gifts. So you need to take that back. It's just business only here at the Oracle. Are you sure this doesn't look tempting to you? Not even a little bit. No. No. Just Not at all. Just a little close. Just, just like inch near it a little bit more, and maybe it'll seem a bit. You know, sometimes it's just perspective. No. I'm an oracle. I have all the perspectives. I see the world in 17 dimensions. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like, I didn't, I didn't know this was going to turn into a showboat off. I'm well, the, I'm, I'm the biggest Asian of squirrel related c comedy and regular actors. In yeah. Well, I could, I could never do your job and you could never do mine. And I think it's okay to, we don't have to compare. Okay. You know, because right. actors aren't your even, friends. Yeah. They're just your actors, just like you are to me. Wait, they're not my friends. I mean, they're not, right? Because if the money was gone and uh, all the stuff that you get them was gone, right? What would you have? My personality, my, Look, my charm. I, if I could tell people about what's going on in 17 Dimensions, do you think anyone would hang out with me? There's yes, they would. Of them? hilarious. But not you. Uh -huh, yeah. no. I didn't go to P. Diddy's white party on that yacht because we're friends. I went there because I have skills. So you can even just like throw away P. Diddy if you want. I, could, I would throw it. I threw him away years ago. <laughs> you know, you, you, you're just another popular kid. That's all you are. You're just a popular okay. kid. Okay, sure. Maybe. In this dimension. Yeah. I came in. I came in. <laughs> oh, Oracle. You know, I... <laughs> I just, I feel like I'm being watched. Like there's this like Audrey Hepburn character that's always like just two spaces to my, below me. Yeah. Like, it, what does she want? Yeah. What does she want? Well, a few things. She's I just think watching. Me. Yeah. I, what I think is important for you to know is that other people can't see that. You know, it's just out of their line of sight. But for you, it looks like you're kind of, you're in dimension seven. Oh, uh oh, oh my oh. God. Oh my God, is that it? Yeah, like she's always upstaging me. Like I win like an Academy Award and then she's there just judging. Like Academy Award's not good enough. You need an EGOT. Just... Do you have an EGOT though? No, no, no. I, I just Who's don't what's have- left? What's left on the checklist? Tony, but I'm just lazy. Like like doing a show every night. Yeah. It's kind of the easiest one though, don't you think? 
it's just it's so tough like i want to play video games and at least in like my video game time like you know three hours in broadway right right kind of here's an idea why don't you just play a video game as your show that's a real cop out right yeah no yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's like a performance art like yeah, yeah. who's watching who tag alley right out <laughs> 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 So I feel like I've been at this Oracle school for too long and I'm not sure that this is what I want to do with my life. Okay. And How could you, like, I think, I guess you failed because you couldn't predict what you wanted to be in the future. You would have seen this a mile away, right? If you were a good Oracle student. God, you're so right. Yeah. wasn't meant for this we actually had this conversation on uh on registration day you know which did we? well i mean the faculty did as we uh prophesied uh who yeah would, but we who would make your it. money yeah we <laughs> needed your money right i'm sorry oh. times are tough yeah so well, we left that's, that's fair yeah the football team just isn't bringing in as, in as much as it used to uh yeah. Just well, I mean, have do you, you guys do you guys kind of like maybe for the people that don't want to be oracles, do you have advice maybe? Have you, have you have you thought about an English degree? Huh. I mean, I like words. So. Yeah, I <laughs> you know, a lot of people, you know, they find themselves halfway through school they don't know what they want to do and the real the easiest path to just getting the piece of paper is an english degree so it's 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 pretty good english degree english degree what could i do with an english degree teach teach you can go to china you can teach chinese kids like did you ever dream to live in a communist country i did you have always wanted to live in a kibbutz which is basically a communist little house. So, yeah. hi, sweetie. I heard that you decided to have a major in English. Yes, this is my life goal now. I have all kinds of purpose. Hi, sweetie. Sweetheart, I don't want you to be an English major person. That's useless. What? Your daddy, your daddy also majored in poetry, English, and that was garbage. See, we are always hungry and we are always poor. Um, I really thought I found my life's purpose. Why are you saying that? Hey guys, it's me, capitalism. <laughs> it's you all you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You made it to the end, and uh, <laughs> yeah, you were doing your best, and then you ended up hungry and poor. That was all me. <laughs> hey, that's all because of you. Yeah, all you're right. so welcome. You're so welcome. Oh my god. Uh, can you I, um? Can you just give me all your labor value? Can you just hand that over? Sure, 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 sure. Because I have, there's like a billionaire and they can't spend their money. And so, but they want more because it's fun. They're like a dragon. <laughs> Could you help me out? How am I supposed to get my mom's respect? I feel like if I was friends with you, she'd get me more. Yeah. I mean, I could take you on the jet. They could take like pictures of Leonardo DiCaprio if you wanted. But like, here's the deal. Your mom can't respect you because I've created a situation that oppresses her. And so she has to take that out somewhere. And because you guys can never, ever make it. And because you're not able to raise your children communally as a society, like you're meant to, you just do it in these individual nuclear nightmares where abuse is rampant and nobody can ever check on you. It wasn't supposed to work. <laughs> okay. It's not Gilmore Girls. <laughs> I got everyone except Allison. All right. Well, how much did you bring me back this time? Oh, uh, well, I, I got the life savings of three people. That's $45. Three people? Yeah. 
three people, you could have ruined so many more lives. Hey, oh, look, I was, I was busy this week. Okay, I didn't. You were busy. It doesn't seem like it. Three people. I, I'm doing my best. I can't make productivity. Okay, the goals are way too high. I'm doing, I'm literally, I'm not sleeping. I've started a meth thing. A meth thing? A, a meth, like I'm doing meth is my point. I'm, I never sleep. Well, do you need more meth then? Because you're obviously not bringing back enough. Look, unless you know how to move through time and freeze time and become a thousand different people in 17 different dimensions, I'm producing as much as I can. Well, maybe I have to replace you with your hotter sibling, oh, okay. consumerism. Okay, okay. So this is late stage capitalism all of a sudden. It's like capitalism past their prime. Okay, I see how it is. You know, this is discrimination. I'll tell you I that. I need another yacht now. No, I, I'm a protected class, and that's classism. I'm a protected classism. Mm. So what are you going to say? Hey, hey, Lucy, I'm doing so great. We're selling all the crypto, getting a lot of people here, here, oh like God. teaching kids consumerism and Animal Crossing, right? Is that techno anarchism? Yeah. Yeah. Boo. See, Market. we're getting people to spend imaginary money. Isn't that great? They're learning. All money is imaginary. <laughs> it was always imaginary. Okay. Not mine. Mine's very real. Uh, but, uh, but I'm the one that gets it for you. Do you know how many people I have to repress? Apparently not enough. <sighs> we, like, we made millions out of meme cats, right? And girls burning buildings. Just a picture of that. That's, <sighs> that's million. You know that girl yeah. didn't burn that building, right? I burned it's that building account. because she it's lived in a place that didn't have a fire station because it was redlined. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> But did you did you mint it as an NFT? No, you didn't. No, I didn't. You're right. And that, I was just yeah. trying to recruit See, interest in the stock market, which has crashed. Too slow, too slow. You guys need to stop buying GameStop because it's confusing. Like <laughs> what, only rich people are supposed to do that. You're why are, what are you doing? We buy low and sell high, and you buy high and sell low. And that's how it works. And that's how we get all your money. Well, the idea is to make them feel like they're winning. And that's all point of every game, right? Yeah, but Feel like a winner. my hedge fund is doing terribly, and I don't like that. I just don't like my. I set up my hedge fund in Russia when everything was like becoming public, and I like basically just looted all these companies. Are you I like I own all the oil in Russia. Like you can just do that, okay? Relax, relax. I mean, relax. you need to lose relax. sometimes. To feel like relax, relax. You're telling me. Maybe yeah, you should you buy less coffee. Oh, buy buy less anything, right? Minimalism. This is how we say it's okay that you live in nothing. Yeah. You can't sell me my own stuff. We can sell you a book on minimalism, right? Like Marie Kondo mm -hmm. and the training. It takes a thousand dollars just yeah. to be a trainer, a Marie Kondo trainer. I love that. I love that. It's not minimalism. You're just poor. <laughs> <laughs> right yeah 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 but we don't need to say that we just no we don't say she doesn't say it either she's very charming you know yeah like you don't need to build your own uh like hipsters right you don't need to build your you need to build your own furniture not because it's cool it's because you're poor but they're right. making it cool yeah yes, yes. i think like you just came up with a brilliant idea we have to make everybody think money is uncool, so they'll give it all to us. Exactly. But wait, if everyone thinks money is uncool, then it won't have a value. No, no. The scarcity then, is what gives it the value. Well, well the, the, they'll oh, see me in there. Everybody, the I think I don't need the money anymore. Maybe you can have all, or because I don't think. This money is useless. Ew, yeah. ew, money. It's... I don't want money. Oh, Gross. God. What have you done? Get uh, rid of oh that. No. Billionaire oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, no. I don't want any money. Uh, uh, I guess I'll take it. Uh, 
It's ruining you, resources. You should have stopped before the wealth gap was so extreme that people stopped believing in the system. You had a good thing going. Why would you do this? Guys, are you hearing this? Capitalism pees in bottles because I can't even oh. take bathroom breaks. Ugh, yeah, I, gross I, I money. Totally, I pee where I want is what I do. <laughs> I, had a, I had a miscarriage on stiff glass last week. I'm sorry. I, you're right. I hate it. Well, one day you'll you'll finally finish college, and then you could become a manager here at Amazon. Okay, a manager of debt. I'll just manage. I'm just gonna kill myself. This is okay, the way guys. Out. I'm sorry. Every time anyone says anything in any way self harming, me, Cindy from HR, uh, automatically hears it and tries to mediate. How can I help? Hi, Cindy. Um, I don't want to live anymore because this is a nightmarish rat race and I can I can work, but then I'm just earning money to what? Not to live, not to love, not to uh, experience all the beauties of this world. So I don't want to do it anymore. I think we're just low on pee bottles. It could, it could be that, yeah. I mean, you both are bringing <laughs> a really great point. Uh, would more pee bottles help or maybe a purpose for life? Um, can you give me a purpose for life or are you just going to give me sexual harassment training? Pee Ooh. bottles seem a bit more tangible to me. Well, pee bottles are uh, an, an easy fix and a purposeful life is kind of easy too, but you kind of have to surrender your soul completely to me. No big deal. Oh my God, Cindy. Take it. <laughs> I have nothing <laughs> to lose. Okay, all right. How well, do you want it? Uh, how do you want it? Uh, here, um, here it is. There you go. That's it. Take it. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, let me just examine it really quick. Okay, I get it. So I see why you're not happy. You should be a horse trainer. Oh, a horse oh. trainer. Yeah. Hey, hey, your break's over. Okay, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about how expensive horses were. I'm back to work. Sorry. I'll, 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 I'm, uh, okay. Well, my job here is done. And uh, I'll get you those pee bottles real quick. <laughs> all right. Uh, Don't spend that soul all in one place. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What to ruin next? Gilmore Girls? No, too easy. Too easy. Hmm. Are there any rainforests left? Uh, excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Bezos? What? I'm thinking! I was, I was curious if you needed any any help from, from me. I, I, I have a bachelor's of English uh, in poetry. Give me uh, an idea. Three words. Three words. I'll connect them. Uh, tiger, tiger, burning bright. Tiger. Oh, that's four words. Well, I mean, what tiger's was... technically one word repeated, but yeah. Okay. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. Um. Okay. Tiger, animal, fierce kingdom, burning bright. Uh, candles. Candles. Candles that tigers can eat. I. Th that's great use of imagery, Jeff. Uh. Hurry. Get it produced now. So this is a. This I can have this job. I can't do right. Yes. All right. <laughs> Who was that? I liked his pants. Rawr, give me meat. Rawr. Are you one of the tigers? I found yeah. it. I found a tiger. Oh, my name is Tony. Is your fast? Was a tiger just in my office and I forgot about it? Uh, you actually have a whole like section a whole block of this compound is just wild cats that are just wandering around like an enclosed fence i what? don't prefer being called wild my name's tony i'm sorry tony that was inappropriate can we get hr in here uh, i really think we should work this through <laughs> hey i think i've been summoned uh anytime i hear any kind of complaining whatsoever i just pop in well i just want i just wanted to i wanted to be a good ally and just let you know that I did call Tony wild. I think it's a microaggression. And I just wanted to apologize to Tony. It is, a, it is a microaggression. People are always saying stuff like that. Do you know how much time I spend grooming myself? It's unbelievable. Yeah. Listen, 
<laughs> it's really it's really on me. That's why I brought uh, HR here. You know, Tony, you didn't deserve that, and Mr. and I Tiger. apologize. Thank Listen, you. I just wish you understood the historical implications of what you said, Mr. Mr. Tiger. Listen, Amazon is so close to getting the EGOT, but we just need a Tony. No, I'm not going to be a Tony for Amazon, okay? <laughs> Tony's his own man. Tony left the circus years I'll, ago. I'll give you $1 billion. Oh, okay, Tony, Tony's, uh, Tony's in. That's a lot of stake. <laughs> so uh, where do we go? Thank you, I HR. I appreciate, I appreciate you. You're so welcome. Boss, boss, boss. I know how we can ruin the world. I know. Tell me. Remember the Tiger King? And he yes. wanted to become president. Like, America's becoming too great with Biden right now. Right, right. We can, we can bail out the Tiger King and he can become president, right? Now, it, like, America's crazy enough. I think he can be president finally, right? Oh, that idea's so good. Oh, you're so right. He's gay, he's crazy. Right. You'll get the liberals. <laughs> You'll get the liberals. What's our platform? A tiger for every American? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let's start like easier, like a cub, a cub for every American. So they don't know how dangerous because cub, a cub is cute. Brilliant. Right. Okay. And that's and then, uh, just more problems. And then they'll be stuck on us. Yeah. And then you give a gun to every American so they can shoot the tiger when. They grow, right? Exactly, exactly, exactly. I think and when the tiger is too big, we start giving them gorillas. Gorillas, and don't forget merchandise. Like every gorilla or every tiger needs clothes, like a little cute bow tie. You cannot have your gorilla in spring 2019 fashion. You certainly can't. Uh, hey guys, sorry. <laughs> oh, we were talking about sports. My name is Bobby. I'm a gorilla, and I, I came here for my fitting. I thought I would get like a, uh, uh, you know, what what are those French people wearing their heads? That's what I'm looking for. Berets. Yeah, um, I'm, beret, I'm a beret. Beret. yeah, because I'm a I'm a gorilla named Bobby. We could oh. get that to you in one to two days with Amazon Prime. Yeah. Why don't you just hand it to me now? Why would you ship it to me in a drone? Why? Do, why? I'm right here. <laughs> Once again, that could be delivered to you one to two days with okay, Amazon I'll, I'll just go home and wait for it, but I just want you to know that I'm really into Braves and the other gorillas in my pride, are, uh, they really love it too. So thank you. Okay. Uh, do you think they were hitting on me? Yeah, I think there was like, she, she yeah. Like you, you've got that like alpha, uh, like alpha King Kong vibe, right? Yeah, I, I really feel, I, I really feel like I was, I was just like, you know, I, I have an image ship hold. As much as, 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 as I would love a gorilla. Uh, yeah, yeah. Jeff Bezos. Oh, and that's exactly, then we can get all these gorillas and make our own King Kong movie. That's all the rage. You think we could get Jack Black too? Of course I can. Of course, of course. And, and get like a lot of uh, oh yeah, you cut to the cut to the gorilla pride. Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Hey, sorry, I was on the toilet. Did you get those berets? Yeah, man, they came in one to two days. Can you believe it? That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. So That's anyway, so... we got a whole case of them. Uh, this came in from China. China. <laughs> anyway. I think yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah, I feel real nice. I feel this isn't 2019's beret. Let me tell you. No, <laughs> this is 2024's beret. If anything, I mean, when we're in those jungles, like I have like one of those uh, strings of bullets, like a bullet sash, you know. Yeah. And I just yeah. feel like this is gonna just make it pop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna look so good out there. We're President uh, Tiger King really came through for us gorillas. No kidding, man. Thank God. I'm glad we got him out. I, Trump, it almost seemed like he wasn't going to pardon him. But then... I know. Oh, man, right there at the end. You saved the best for last. Am I right? 
Exactly, because so everything's on fire now. There's tigers, literally corpses, literally littering the streets. Yeah. Well, we're winning that war, so I'm not really that empathetic because I've been kind of taught to see the other side of, you know, something that can't really think or feel and can only be bad. And so it doesn't hurt me at all to hurt them. You know, mm, you are singing my favorite song. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So, so should we go kill anything that doesn't look like us? A hundred percent. And I also just wanted to let you know, fun fact, we get healthcare for the rest of our lives and free oh. education. Isn't that crazy? That is what we had so to do crazy. was traumatize ourselves by ruining the lives of other people. You know, <laughs> take out Michael. Oh, thank, thank God the humans ended up winning the, the whole plan of the apes oh. thing. Anyways, listen, uh, this is going to be your sign. You're going to be spinning it. It says, we go bananas for our deals. And uh, just remember, we're only hiring you because you don't require a costume. Okay. It, it just feels like a microaggression. All right. It's, it's, I'm hairy. I'm, I'm not any different. Now that I'm on the other side of it, that's completely clear to me. But when I was in a position of power, I wasn't able to understand it at all. I'm I'm just trying to run an insurance business. It's a clever sign, and okay. Well, you know, I don't even eat bananas, right? Like, I like escargot. I really like French food. You know, I used to wear beret. Oh, you you don't really seem like a beret kind of person. My, my like a nice scarf. I could see a nice scarf. I had three Michelin stars um, back in the Congo. and you had three Michelin stars in the Congo? Yeah, at least three stars, yeah. I mean, that's the most you can get. It was amazing. But okay, I'll just hold a banana. like a, yeah. a Make sure you have the side that says we go bananas for our deals. Yeah, I'm not going to show them the other side. The other side says bathrooms over here. Well, they need to know that too. Well, they do need to know that too, but they need to know it from the other direction. And I get that. Hey. Yeah. Do you do you have any jobs for any babars? French elephants? Do you oh, have any jobs? Oh babar. <laughs> non de dieu, babar. <laughs> Toujours vous êtes avec moi. Ah je te déteste. Merde. Okay. Exactement, Babar. Get out of here. You know what? I'm leaving. You stay, Babar. Hey, this, yeah, this if work, you leave, you have to give back the perfect for you. Uh, I make children happy, and I have I have a family of three elephants. How do I how do I live? No one reads books these days. In I'm English, sure you are spinning friends. signs, spinning and you have a gorilla sign. costume that can fit you. The trunk, I can try to squeeze the trunk in. I can. I can. The banana pun is just too good. But what about like, but like, it would be great if I have like a, a partner, right? Then we could like throw the sign to each other, like juggle it. So you want what? Like a With dancing that? banana? Yeah, like a dancing banana. Yeah, like, and you know, like we have a song, chocolate. Boss, yeah, chocolate. boss, boss, we have a new sign. You'll find our deals appealing. And that's oh, pretty cool. Yay. 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 It happened. Yay. Oh, uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. We appreciate you so much. This is like, uh, I think, I hope we keep doing this, you know, for a while, even though the world's opening up and we're slowly getting vaccinated one by one. Uh, to the class of 2020, again, it's not you, it's capitalism. Uh, <laughs> And if anyone has anything they need to share before we go, get to it. I guess uh, since I watch RuPaul's, uh, I guess her advice is always: <laughs> if if you don't love you, if you can't love yourself, then who can you love? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Give me an amen. Here. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I have a Twitch channel, Michael Fromm. It's just my name. I'm on here. I do some stuff. Also, check out my bad movie podcast, Third Act Saviors. We just watched Michael from where? Am I right? Yeah, <laughs> just, from just down the block, babies. Yeah, it's just spelled just like the the preposition though, like from. That helps you remember. Anyone else? Plugs. 
Well, I'm excited. Please play Resident Evil soon, Michael. <laughs> you said you're going to. <laughs> but because I, I have no play. <laughs> I, I have love, no PlayStation 5, so I need to live vicariously. We here. all love giant vampire ladies. I'm sure I will eventually. I'm okay. just reminding myself that I saw a post on Reddit about doing improv in English as a second language, and I remember that Helena is doing a workshop for that. And now I'm just thinking oh. out loud so that I remember <laughs> to wow, try to connect those two things. <laughs> thank you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Asian gateway things. So six Asian improv coaches doing uh, six workshops, and I'm part of that one, and I'm teaching workshop improvising in a second language. Yes, thank you, Alison. Yeah, which you are like the best at. Like you just work <laughs> everything. I think this person is a native Spanish speaker, but I'll just send it to you anyway. You can tell them the info. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Thank you. Stick around for more shows. Bye. Bye. Bye.